Although he's a regular customer at Jerusalem Java, the author of The Word Publisher's latest release, Malachi, maintains an anonymous profile. In fact, at Jerusalem Java, he's simply known as The Messenger, or Malachi, or Mal for short. Tonight, Mal invited BC bestsellers over for a chat over some coffee. Good to meet you, Mal. Same to you, man. I'm curious, what moved you to write a book? I guess you could say it was uh, inspired. <laughs> Seriously though, um, it was inspired by hanging out here, watching coffee conversation after coffee conversation. I just got to thinking, what would God say if he would sit down and have a coffee chat? So your book is like a dialogue? Yeah, between God and the saved backs. The what? Oh, the, uh, the nation of Judah, I call them the saved backs. You know, like when you, uh, like, like when you buy one of these things and, uh, and save some of it back for later. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're the saved backs. But a lot of the time, we just act like we're the leftovers. What's the difference? Well, leftovers just happened to survive the meal. They're, they're on their own, you know. But, uh, but saved backs were purposefully spared. We're not leftovers. What makes you so sure? Oh, look at Edom. Like Judah, Edom was broken. But unlike Judah, she never healed. You better believe that God loves Judah. But Judah doesn't believe that. Yeah, I know. That's why their sacrifices stink to high heaven. What are you talking about? What's wrong with the sacrifices? They're not the kind of sacrifices God wants. They're defiled and disabled, which violates the law of Moses. Oh, I get it. So they're deplorable dead sheep. Come on, don't push it. Alliteration in moderation. Um, seriously though, uh, the sacrifices that people give God are worse than what they give their governor. So they treat the government better than they treat God? Yeah, in more ways than, than one, really. They don't just insult God, they also rob God. What do you mean? Whoa, I thought God owned the cattle on a thousand hills or something like that. He has all he needs. Well, it's not about need, it's about ownership. Besides, it's, it's not like giving to him hurts you. Actually, it's going to benefit you. Well, there sure don't seem to be any blessings. Oh, careful. Don't slander God. What are you talking about? Oh, it's, it's just, I don't know. It just sounded like you were saying following God's not worth it. I, that's just not true. There's suffering in the small picture, sure. But there's blessing in the big picture. So, I mean, don't get too focused on the small picture. Like, like they say here. Keep your mug open. The waiter's coming. What does that have to do with the saved facts? Well, eventually God is going to send his messenger, who will be preceded by a herald. Seriously? Who are they? What will they be like? And when will they appear? Can you give us more details? Well, I would, except that I don't have